What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of The Last War for 2.0. It uh, wasn't a nail biter or anything. It was definitely a bit of a relaxed war after the insane weekend against 1.0. So uh, I'll flip over the war screen see what happened. 65-55 uh, victory for 2.0 over Mango. Not really sure what it stands for. I believe they're uh, Saudi Arabian clan. Yeah. Saudi Arabia, so no idea what any of that stuff says. As you can see, they kind of struggled in that three-star count. Uh, they didn't have the greatest bases. So it was nice, sort of relaxed war after uh, the crazy week that we had. Uh, they did use most of their attacks, kind of flip through. They got twos on all the tens except for the dude. They did have an extreme Town Hall 10 advantage. Um, Salty just went up to 10 in anticipation of the update. Uh, other than that, we had all nines, and they struggled. You know, they had a few three stars in there, but missed quite a few of them. Uh, we got a few Town Hall 10 three stars. They had Town Hall 10s all the way down to 14, so they had seven more. That's kind of what just even kept them in this war at all. And then cleared the board, I believe, on the ninth. So good job, 2.0. Uh, definitely brought a few nice replays here. Just going to make this a quick one. Uh, this uh, Town Hall 10 3 star by KNX was on the uh, Plan XQ Recap episode, so that was pretty cool. Uh, he should have had one on this as well, but the Arch Queen glitched on the Tesla and screwed everything up. Really unfortunate. Uh, uh, Do Works on from Invicta is uh, putting together a little package of replays of the Barb King and Archer Queen glitching on the Tesla. He's got a hold of Supercell, and they're willing to listen to him and hopefully fix the problem. So we'll see how that pans out. Uh, we did get Maddie got a three star number eight, and then Don just beat up these rushed tens in these bottom spots at 13 and 14. So I got a few replays. We'll start off with Maddie here and his nice attack. He kind of used like a hybrid three star attempt here. He brings the ten hogs and five golems. Um, I think what he was just really wanting to secure the two and then push for three. Realized if you can get these Inferno Towers down in this whole top section, that's a huge section of DPS. So he brings these 10 Hogs to kind of send in on the bottom bottom area uh, for once his heroes push through. So you'll see how it pans out. Heroes in on either side. Uh, you know, he, he's already cleared out that first compartment. Jumps down. King's going to lock onto that queen in one second here. Clan Castle comes out. He's got a little bit of time before that hound's going to head over to the queen and get taken out. Things are looking pretty good at this point, though. That first Inferno goes down, looking good. Queen's going to take down that Expo and then the cannon and then work, start working on that second Inferno. He's already sent in the hogs from the 3 o'clock side here. They're just going to start moving around in a clockwise fashion. Gets a heal down over them here. Perfect timing with that bomb placement. Because not only are Infernos a problem with, for Hogs, but the extra bombs cause a problem with Hogs at 10. So they're very tricky. They're still viable to use. You just got to be very careful with them. They're very fragile. Those fragile piggies. Look how low health they are. And he just heals at the very last second to bring them back up. Hero's still doing work. Beating through all this trash to get down here. It's actually looking really good at this point. It's minute 20 in this replay to go. And really only a few defenses to go. Once this cannon goes down, he's got one more heal he's going to drop just to keep his last, I think, like four hogs. Like, look at the sliver on the health of that on that guy. Skeleton's chasing him. Four hogs under that heal are easily going to take out those last two defenses while the king and queen mop up. So, nice job, Maddie. Nice three-star. Um... Again, I wasn't involved in the planning. I don't know if it was just an intentional three-star attempt right off the hop or if it was more of a, a safe two with a potential three on the back end. So either way, solid job. Three-star to boot. I know I'm Canadian, so I know you guys like hearing me say that. So I say it. I love to please. Maddie with the three. Good job. So let's check out Don Leon's. We can almost call them bully attacks because of... <laughs> How rushed they are. Pretty sure he's got Town Hall, uh, sorry, level 3 Infernos, but pretty much everything else is Town Hall 9 or lower. Level 2 crossbows, like purple walls. Why would this guy go up to 10, you might ask? I have no idea. Don Leon shows him why. You shouldn't do this. Uh, he is basically just going to take this whole top section out with his heroes. His king even goes for a bit of a walk, but his queen has the ability, as soon as the queen locks on to the defensive queen, she basically one-shots her. So, okay. This is kind of interesting. She's going to lock on in one second. There she goes. 
Boom, one shot the defensive queen. I love it. <laughs> so whole top section is now taken out. CC gets yanked out. He's got four Lava Hounds and 26 Balloons. He's going to send in on this backside. There go the first of the Lava Hounds. Tesla's pop. All four are in. Nice spread all around on his loons. He's going to drop five. He's got five haste here, guys. He has five haste. So he's going to drop four here. And then I believe one more kind of to push everything up into the middle. And a rage and a freeze. There goes the freeze. Taking care of that inferno tower that locked onto those balloons. Just going to buy them some time to get right in there and take the inferno out. Still has a Rage, which I think is going to go down now. There it is. And Raging everything else into the core. Really just needs to take care of that Air Defense and Inferno Tower now. Inferno Tower is down. Air Defense is down. It's clean up. Dawn just murdered this guy. Good job, man. Look at all those pups still on the board. Cleaning up like bosses. Beautiful. That's your three. Don had a six-star war, like I had mentioned. Good job, buddy. Really showing these guys why you don't do what they did. This guy's slightly better walls. Uh, still a lot of Town Hall 9 defenses. Like, level 2 crossbows. I don't know why you'd go up. But, you know, level uh, Town Hall 8 wizard towers. Town Hall 8 archer towers. So, Don makes this guy pay. Really poor queen placement. Uh, as you can see, the queen just immediately took her out. Drops the king. He really wants to get this air defense and this air defense and the CC troops now. So uh, king's just going to play a little bit of plinko on all these buildings until he eventually gets to that air D. He's just a beast. Um, a little bit of a walk back for his king because of those skeletons, but not a big deal. He's going to rage up a little earlier than he anticipated, but that's going to buy him just enough time to get to that air D. This bottom air D queen is now taken care of. King just needs one more second. Boom, down it goes, and in comes the air attack. Just right on cue, just waiting for it. Three hounds in on the first air defense, and then he was scared, I, I, not scared, but um, worried about the single target Inferno because it really did take one of those Lava Hounds down very quickly. Uh, but it's locked on to the other Lava Hound now. It gets the freeze down, buys everything just enough time. Look at all the loons. As soon as the freeze wears off, boom, there's like 20 balloons right over top that whole core. Other freeze goes down. Great value on those. Rage pushes everything right up to it. Inferno Tower and then these few defenses on the uh, 2 o'clock section are the last to go. Really just has to take down. He still has two Lava Hounds unburst. That shows really how rushed this base was because when you only bring four, uh, I guess he only had two air defense to go, but even still. <clears throat> All the defenses are down. It's cleanup time. Don Leon killing it. There she is, three stars. All right. Check out their top Town Hall 9. Andrew uh, loves showing his attacks. He really, uh, really just monsters into these bases and, and takes care of business. So uh, let's watch how he does that. Uh, going to be creating a bit of a funnel for his wizards here. He's got to open up the middle section with some wall breakers any second. There goes his test wall breaker. It is good. So he sends in the rest. Wall is now open. Drops the queen in kind of to back up the golems here. He's going to take a little bit of delay on his king. He has some time though. Look at this huge funnel he's created. Looking just, just great funnel. King almost decides. I thought he was gonna go walk to that spell factory, but he takes a bit of a reroute. Jumps into that crossbow. Queen's working on the CC troops that are under poison. CC troops are down. Really just needs to take care of this last little section of stuff here, and he can send in the hogs. If you notice, he triggered a DGB there, so really for whatever it was, 30 hogs, I think, with a giant and heals and no double giant and only one double giant bomb, which is actually a very poor, poorly placed double giant bomb. I'll explain why when he gets there. Uh, that doesn't stand a chance against hogs, so Andrew just walks into this base just with pure confidence because he knows he's just going to wreck it. Really nice spring trap there. A couple of nice spring traps by these guys, but it doesn't stand a chance. Sending in the reinforcement hogs, he's going to get his last heal down over this section. Here's why a double giant bomb placement here is poor, because hogs jump in and take you got defenses on the short side. When you have defenses on the short side, the hogs are naturally going to go there and trigger the bombs one at a time. That's not what you want when you're trying to set up a double giant bomb. So Andrew recognizes it, really exploits it. He's on cleanup now. Skeletons are dead. Hogs are working their way around the base, and it is Dunsies right now. Nice little split on his hogs there. Really nice when... Uh, when, when that happens, because it helps with the cleanup. I think he would have had it anyways. Spell Factory, last building standing. We're done. Three stars. Nice job, Andrew. 
Uh, all right, and just 16, I guess. Uh, Nightmare. Loves showing your attacks, man. Just wreck it. Brings a max attack here. He's going to come in from about the 1, 2 o'clock section. Opens everything up with this Earthquake. He's really gotten access now to two air defenses. The Queen, both crossbows, the Sweeper. CC troops are going to come out, even both Sweepers technically. So he's going to get really good value having three Lava Hounds and 15 Balloons on the backside. Literally takes his time here. He's like, oh, I'll just create a huge funnel for everything. He doesn't want anything wandering. As soon as that Dark Spell Factory goes down, he's going to get the King down. Golems are going to go in, draw the CC out. Uh, King deployed now. There he is. Poison goes down to take care of the CC. A lot of dragon loon combinations. So Poison just wrecks them. Queen's in there. She's going to start working on the dragon and balloons. I think she locked on that defensive queen first. King locked right on too though. She's down like nothing. CC troops are down. Got to take out that air defense. Two air defenses are now down. Sweeper's down. He's about to get that other sweeper. Once that King gets in there. He can start his air attack anytime. Here we go. Huge distance on that Lava Hound. Great placement. He's going to soak up a bunch of traps. He really want to take down this Tesla and the Wizard Tower before all his balloons ended up on this side. Because you got to think of where your balloons are going to end up when all the defenses go down. If that stuff was up, he would have had this huge clump of balloons approaching a Wizard Tower slowly, and you don't want that. So takes it down great. Really good spread on the rest of his loons here. He's got eight more still. He's going to start sprinkling in after this Lava Hound goes in. There it is. Two more loons, two more loons, two more loons, two more loons. Space doesn't stand a chance. He doesn't bring any spells for the air. Again, it was pure max attack. He healed his king and everything. Didn't quite get that sweeper, so it's giving him a little bit of trouble just causing causing this attack to take longer. Wasn't actually going to make it a fail by any means. Still has a Lava Hound on burst. Cannon goes down. That's the last defense. We're on cleanup. Nightmare just killed it. Good job, man. Sexy three-star. All right. So like I mentioned, nice to get a bit of a bit of a relaxed war, we'll just call it, uh, after a crazy weekend that we had against 1.0. Again, that was one of the best experiences uh, I've ever had in my Clash Clans career. So glad to be part of that. I'm sure, all the guys feel the same, and uh, we got a lot of matches. Pretty much almost every weekend we have a match coming up. So gonna have tons of content coming your way guys uh really gonna keep trying to push this stuff with labs like i had mentioned before dws just killing it with these hog rider series so you know if you uh, have a clan that wants to maybe get a little bit of exposure and you guys have really been trying some three-star attacks and and maybe want to uh, one of us to come into the clan and give you guys some advice and do a few replays for you that's an option please go to our website though the one hive uh website and the application is right on there uh, you just fill it out. Uh, there's a bit of a waiting list at the moment, so don't uh, don't be upset if we don't get back to you right away. But I know DWS is on that like a hawk. So uh, get in while it's get in while it's good. That's all I got to say. So that'll, that'll pretty much do it for this recap. Uh, that's your wisdom from Wiser here, just trying to help you guys bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.